So this is going to be my creek crawler. I have a creek behind the house. And this is the build I've been working on for only the last couple weeks. Special shout out to Arn uh, for providing the power pack kit that you see here with the reverse gearbox. I'll link that for you guys in the description below, but I just kind of wanted to give y'all an idea of what I got going on here. I have YouTubed the heck out of this type of thing and have not specifically seen anything done like this before, though I may be completely out of touch and not dug deep enough. But anyway, so the whole point of this is to platform the whole frame. That way people could just sit on it while we're traveling down the creek. And I plan on boxing this up with some separated steel, just so it still has some uh, breathability without anybody touching this thing like I did, accidentally burning yourself or getting your hands caught up in the drivetrain. But anyway, so I have this set up to where the forward action of that switch moves this gear is currently in forward. But anyway, as the rotation of this engine goes this way, and then this way, the forward rotation of the differentials are clockwise. So, as I move forward, sorry, actually, it's counterclockwise. It's a late night. So everything spins this way, this way, and then this way. And if you pull this, Bar here. Let me get to this position. This is going to spin everything in this direction. So counterclockwise, if you're looking at it from the back. So as it spins it this way, that way, there is a I believe 520 series chain that comes from here. And I got this online. Once again, special thanks to Arm for giving me a heads up. I think it's Arnie actually giving me a heads up on what to get. Um, I'll link the website of where I bought the sprocket. Uh, there's only so many of these available now, but uh, I got a 55 tooth and then this is a one inch outer diameter keyed axle shaft that I cut down, put a one inch non keyed lockout. It's a split lock. And then I put in another one in between the pillow ball bushing. Bearing, as they say, right underneath. And that's going to hold the twist action of that as it's moving forward. This is a one inch keyed inner diameter, sorry, outer diameter uh, to a 1310 series U-joint yoke that I will run from here and I put it on the low end. That way it could tuck happily in this direction. And what you see, these actually had that whole setup right here, but that was gonna be too much. So I actually did the gearing back here. So the final drive will just go from a 12 tooth to a 12 tooth with a 520 series chain connecting the two. And then this is the drive shaft for the transfer case center section. And to kind of mock up what it will look like, sorry, this is gonna take a little bit to move around. It's gonna go under the bracket. So we'll shoot from here, right out that direction. Plenty of clearance, and then it'll go parallel with another transfer case section right there. But it's gonna have a stub, much like this setup, with a 12 tooth gear here. And then once these are moved underneath, Draft shaft's extended, so I have to push that in. But it's going to go, and the holes are already drilled here, here, on the bottom. Just like that setup, just over here. 
So it will be consistently locked. The only way to unlock the front diff is to twist the locked hubs. So we're going to take a few leaps out of here, probably just monoleaf it in the front and the back. See if I have to do anything with the shocks. They might compress completely. Hopefully not. I'm not planning on this thing to be too heavy. This is a CJ5 frame and rolling axle setup. Everything is exactly as it was as I picked it up, minus the tub. So anyway, should have a startup video here in just a few days once the chain comes in. Everything else already fires off of that perfectly fine. I put 80, five, let's see what gear oil I put. 85, 140 into the fill port of this just to make it a little thicker. And got everything else going exactly as I want it to. So stay tuned for it. I said if there's any other builds like this that are out there, I'd love for y'all to drop a comment. So I could check it out. Maybe I have some motivation for something else to add some things to it. But aside from that, this is the only one. We'll talk to you soon.